Hey guys, it's another video. Today I am going to showcase, uh, well, yeah, well, it's another episode of IC2 Let's Play, but I am showcasing this machine and it, uh, it, uh, was not functioning. Why are you not functioning? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's a little weird, but it, it's alright. It, for the most part, works and I like it. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my mouse because I don't have enough space to move it. Okay, that's good. And then make our food. Cool, cool, cool. I can actually dump some of that. Okay. Now, today we're going to be crafting something very useful. And I don't know if I actually talked about this. Let me just see. Okay, I do have that. Uh, yeah, I put the miner in here. I think I did that last episode. Now, this. Yes, this. This is very useful. But very confusing if you have no idea what it is. So I'm just going to craft it, and it's not this. This is something we're getting later. Get into later. But a blast furnace. Now, a blast furnace needs heat to work. So, I'm creating an electric... Well, I'm using an electric heater. Uh, now you need, I think, coils. Coils, 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 I think. Uh, for now, I'm just going to set it up right here. Okay, it's gonna get that. Yeah, it needs heat, and this needs. You can check in here. Add coils and create heat output. Uh, we're gonna want a lot. I was hoping I had some, but heat are uh, heat coils are really easy to create. We'll create five of them. I think that'll just be twenty. Twenty. Five. And let's be smart about this. Actually, it's going to be a lot less since we're going to be using the metal former. So I think you get three each time. So let's just craft that and then we'll make the heat coils. This has been charging up a lot. Uh, sooner or later, I'm going to be switching this to a uh, proper area. Why do I keep keeping damage? Oh, you can't sit on gold coils because it's high voltage. Forgot about that. Yeah. But just look at this. 2.9 million. These four generators have been producing 2.9 million uh, EU. Right, EU? I think so. And this, which we're going to be automating today, is making tons of carrots. It's crazy. Now, to fix the system properly, we do have to take this food and put it here. I'll get into that in a little bit, but right now it's not super necessary. And oh, we have to go back over here. I forgot, duh. J15. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oops. Nope, uh, okay. Doing the wrong thing. Yep. Okay, I will come back once that's done. Okay, we have enough to create the five coils now. I think. I think so, I make coils? Yes, five coils, cool. And I've got a scrap box too, but we get a cooked pork chop. Okay, that's not terrible actually. Now I'll put them in here. Cool, and then heat should be. Hmm. Now will you work? Hmm. I don't know why this isn't working. You know, maybe I'm not doing it right. Let me look up the wiki on fluids. Oh, do you need steam? If you need steam, this whole episode's kind of ruined. Maybe you don't need steam. Maybe you need something like water. It's a blast furnace. I can't imagine a blast furnace needs water. Do you take water? No, you don't. What do you take? Biofuel? You want biofuel? You got tons of biofuel. It just ate my bucket. Uh, okay. <laughs> or biogas, whatever, same thing. You want that? 
Eh? No? Okay. It doesn't want that. Uh... E that. Good enough. Uh, let me look this up. Okay, so something we do need, uh, and clearly I was not paying attention, we need compressed air cells. Now, they're made pretty simply. I'm just going to use the uh, hammer for this. Uh, and I don't have... Oh, I do have exactly one. Cool, cool. So, we put this in the compressor. And I do have a compressor. I'll see this. Should have given that to one of the dogs, but whatever. We put this in the compressor, and it'll give us compressed air cells. And we put it in the blast furnace. But... I'm a little confused on what the liquid storage is. Because it says liquid storage. Right? Because yeah, it, it holds millibuckets and you don't really measure air. Millibuckets, do you? I, I guess you would if it's in a cell. Because the cell holds a block. You know, this is air. Wait. It's just normal air. Oh, no. That's right. Okay. Now, why are you not working? Oh, maybe... Hmm. I don't know why it's not working. I really don't. <laughs> no, I don't know. Did it just... No, it didn't. Okay, now you working? I don't understand. Now, the one thing they do say to use is a radioisotope heat generator. I don't know why, but it says to. Hmm. Okay, I think I know the issue, and it's because we don't have enough air. It says we need 6,000 millibuckets of air for it to create one steel that's a lot and we're gonna have to automate that if we want some genuine steel production because that is what this is for a blast furnace turns iron into steel and we can turn a you know this into steel uh, obviously making it a pile of dust a pile of iron dust but it's not transferring the heat which is kind of concerning but i think it's okay i think it's I think it's still gonna work. Let's just put this in here and we'll keep filling it up till it's at 6,000 millibuckets. And as well as, I think today I'm going to set up my jetpack refiller. Uh, definitely not gonna put it here because this is gonna be a workshop. This is where all this stuff's gonna go because this is the power generation station. So uh, for now, I'll just keep the fermenter in my inventory. Uh, no, I put it over here. We just gotta keep filling this up, and I think I might as well just come back to you when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. Now, I've got the last cell. Yes. Oh, it produces the heat. Okay. I don't like that. Now, it said over here that it takes 300 seconds, but... Oh, this is just a heat. Mmm. Now, we will get a byproduct, and this byproduct is called slag, and is this slag, not that slag. Now, I don't know what slag can be used for. Uh, ooh. Okay, I actually like that. I like that, okay. That's actually kind of useful, but this is immersive engineering. We're not going to be using that. I'm only using immersive engineering, again, just for this, just for these wires. Although, they technically are a combination of IC2 and Immersive Engineering, but I won't get into that. Uh, yep, I'm going to do Iron Dust and such. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I have Iron Dust in there. I might fill more gas into that. But, we can create more Coal Dust, as well as Gold Dust. Now, Coal and Gold are both very good. Uh, I think Coal is better than Gold, though. Uh, I'll go to a little bit of a quiet area. Here we go. This quiet. So, we can click on this. We can get the coal. Coal seems great, right? Well, 
it is. First of all, you can create a coal ball. Now, what you can do with coal ball is compress it into a compressed coal ball. You combine that with obsidian iron or bricks and get a coal chunk. Then you compress that and you get a diamond. Yes. It does require a lot, and I think it requires 64 coal dust to create uh, one diamond. But still, that is really worth it. And I have some leftover obsidian that I don't use or really need because I don't think IC2 has a recipe for anything that requires obsidian. Uh, actually, like, the, do I really need it? I can make obsidian dust. I can make obsidian plates. I think that's used like once. Oh, crystal memory. <laughs> obsidian plates. I, I mean, they're quite useless. That's my point. Uh, obsidian, but I will be using iron because you do have a decent amount more. That's actually struggling. Hmm. Okay. Uh, they did say to use a radioisotope heat generator, so maybe, maybe we'll get into that. Uh, which one? I assume just this one. Reaction chambers, lead plates, and basic machine casing. Okay, lead plates, pretty easy. Uh, that's lead, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So let's just crack that, I guess. I mean, we can do it on camera because we're waiting for steel. Now, I know I should be using the metal former, but this is just so much easier. So, boom, boom, boom. And I think I'm going to need more iron. Yeah, I will. Uh, four iron and three copper, three, two, three, four, and six of this. And that should give us our radioisotope heat generator, I think. So we put that in here, we do that, we create our, uh, I think this is a heat conductor. Yes, heat conductor. And then we just do that, and then, oh, oops. I forgot that. Yes, and then that. Radioisotope heat generator. Now, I don't know exactly how this works. I'm just going to put it there. Currently transmitted. Do I just put uranium in it? I don't have refined uranium, though. That's the bad thing. You find... Oh, refined uranium is something we're going to get into a little bit later. And you need a thermal centrifuge for that. And a thermal centrifuge is why we need the blast furnace. I will... Oh, central. Ah. Is it not central? Oh, centrifuge. Okay, this... You might be thinking, oh, it's pretty simple. But no, it's got an advanced machine casing. Not simple at all. Fancy machine casing requires steel plates. Everything else here is fairly easy to craft. I mean, I could get the carbon plates pretty easily. I'll get the carbon plates right now if I have to. I think carbon plates are just... Yeah, they're super easy to craft. And I only need two carbon plates. So I can just... I can do that right now. So, let's get some of this recipe uh, started. Because I will not... Oh yeah, I have to combine them to that mesh. Carbon fiber mesh. And then we pop it in there. Ah, whatever. Okay, so we're going to have that. Uh, let, yeah, let's just put that recipe in our inventory. Make it easy on ourselves. Guess we need four iron. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Uh, we need two more iron. And I'll explain what that two more is for, and that's for the coils. So I guess I could just like, set it right now. Would have been fairly simple. Uh, and that's going to require 16 copper. Or technically 8. But, you know. Okay, and then mining laser. Super simple to make. I know it looks expensive because of this energy crystal, but it really isn't that expensive. The most expensive thing... I think in this whole entire recipe is the steel and the alloys. Alloys are kind of annoying to make because they require kind of a lot, but it's okay. 
Now that's almost done, so that's nice, that's nice. I just gotta make sure I'm actually recording, because sometimes my computer likes to cut off, so I'm sorry. Okay, I am, and that clip has been going on for a little while, so I'm gonna end it right now. <laughs> oh, it's bad when I keep a clip running on long. Okay, so let's just craft these. Oh, I have to craft more coils, I forgot to say that. Uh, yeah, this is for the motor. Motor is fairly simple, and now I just need one tin. I think. I say I have one. There you go. Uh, and I'm gonna show you one other. Th We're not gonna show you one other thing, but I think I have to explain one other thing. Uh, actually, I could just use this. I think that. I think that'll give us what I need. Probably not. Let's see. No. One more. Uh, and I need two more iron. I guess this is honestly the downside of a metal former. Is it's super slow. And you can speed it up, but it's not going to cost you. Uh, I'll just do that. And we'll craft the motor. <sighs> Everything's very expensive in this mod pack. Everything, honestly. If some things just were half as cheap or half as expensive, I'd be alright with everything. This is expensive as well. Oh my god. Seven, four of those. A mining laser costs four diamonds. Crazy, honestly. I'll just put that in there. Just take that, put that in there, makes it easy on us. Uh, oh, that's only halfway done. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we're, we're good. So, one thing I do have to do is actually create more, uh, what is that stuff? The bio chaff. Uh, we're not producing enough. We're actually running low. So... One idea I had was to use this carrot farm for more biochaff since we're producing a ton of carrots. And I think that's the smartest thing at this point because we need a lot. And we're going to be sending it more generators and more fermenters. And we'll eventually need it. It's... I can't even argue it. I have to do it. Uh, let's just create the energy crystal. Ah, I hate that. Energy and dust. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank you. Okay, and then I'll get the other plates. They should be done. Yes, they are done. Cool, cool, cool. That, and wait, what did I need that for? Oh, yeah, this. I need it for that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna roughly craft it out. Is there any one, two? Three, four, oh god. I need three alloys. Great. Right, three? Yeah, I need three alloys. That's fun. Okay, let's craft those. So, that's going to be 12 of these. And 12, well, 12 of all of them, actually. I have the iron. What am I doing? <laughs> I have all the iron I need. Oh, it's not copper. It's tin. Ah, uh, that's bad. And I'm definitely not going to have enough of this. Wow, I have more tin. I, I have more copper than I have tin. That's bad. Wow. Okay, we'll put this in there because I have enough of that. And I'll have to get some more tin. Oh, that's why. All my tin's in there. Uh, yeah, let's just do two. Do Come on, come on, come on. Almost, almost. So close, we're so close. Now... Okay, but, you know, it actually isn't that slow. But you know, it's just, it's an automatic machine, so it... It's still slow. Like, I... This is gonna be so much quicker, just to... Boop. So quick, it's just... It's pretty much instant. Uh, honestly, I think I really need a tin. 
this badly. I'll just do one. One really quick. Uh, because I don't exactly need, you know, all those super quick. Okay, let's just do this. Yes, and I guarantee the bronze is not done. Bronze is definitely not done. Yeah, no, it's halfway done. Yeah, let's just... It's taking too long. Okay, now... We go over here. I should be able to craft. I think bronze is in the middle, iron's on top, and tin is down here. Yes. Okay, that was more than enough. Then we compress them all, and then we get our alloys. And then we should be able to craft the mining laser. Oh, no, we need an advanced circuit. Advanced circuit is just a fancier normal circuit, honestly. It's it's not much more. Two, three, four. Yes. Then we need glowstone and lapis. <sighs> glowstone. I don't have lapis over here. I have lapis in my... Yes. Uh, but I need two more redstone and one iron plate. So, yes, and I need six rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have steel. Sweet, we have steel. Cool. That's good. We're getting so close. Maybe today we can actually do what we need to do. Maybe. Because last episode I don't think was very long. And I think I was a little disappointed how short it was. Okay. Good. And then, yes, advanced circuit. And what did I need? Oh yeah, just these. Okay, we can craft the mining laser. And I actually want to showcase what the mining laser is really capable of. So, I'll put it in there for a little bit. And we'll let it charge up just a little bit. Maybe to like 10k. Or, you know what, yeah, we have to... This is not good at all. 20k, that's that's good. So, the mining laser is pretty crazy. Okay, I just wanted to go into an area where I can just blast it. <laughs> it's crazy. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things. You can just blast away the earth. Really quickly. Although, it does have a very odd range. You don't know how limited you really are. So, yeah. This thing's crazy. Uh, to an extent, it's crazy. So let's just craft the rest of this and then we'll get on with the episode. Okay, so I figured I can't finish today's episode. So we will continue it next episode because I think this episode's been running a little too long. It's definitely been over 15 minutes. So I will see you guys in the next episode when we have the right amount of steel, we have everything, and we can craft everything. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today I am back, and I actually... Oh, I put it away in the chest already. Okay, I am rendering a video right now. Uh, so excuse this light frame drops. Let me just move my mouse pad a little bit. So I have a little bit of space. I found some iridium ore. Now, it is super essential that we get iridium and now we have it so you know we're good we're set uh, iridium is very important because it's going to get us that quantum armor and there are a few other things that's going to be it'll make this much better the diamond drill that we have right now uh, right now it's good but it's not amazing it's uh, it's lacking and the iridium tipped one is so much better so now we have the thermal centrifuge <gasps> sorry uh, okay. Hmm. I don't know where to... Okay. Hate creepers so much. Go over here. Over here. Yes, over here. I love this nano saber. The nano saber is just amazing. I'm scared it's gonna blow up. But it's, it's power level 2, so it's not even a received power. Huh, okay. Um, let me see what the MFE is. The MFE is power tier 3, and this needs power tier 2. So, we need the CSU, or the CU. 
the C E yes, the C E S U. This thing is exactly what we need. Oh, that should be fine. Actually, I think I put it right here. Yes, I can. Okay, now we can put something like, I think just crushed tin ore. And it's doing something. It's gonna take a while though, so I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, it is happening. It is converting the tin into its thermal centrifuge version, which is a tiny pile of iron dust, tin dust, and stone dust. Now, per okay. Okay, that is why you get insulated gold wire uh, from a, high, a 512 EU tick. I think you use equivalent to a volt or something. I don't know. Oh, we need that in there. Cool. That's actually quite amazing, not gonna lie. Uh, but, 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 that's not what we need it for. We actually need this for something completely different. And that was, what was it? Oh yeah, no, no, no. Oh, I have to go through this. Uh, you know what, let me just type, I'll find it. Okay, I've got the orange dye, and now we can finally craft. Uh, I'll just take a stack, whatever. And I'll just put it back when I'm done. So, now we can create all the proper clothing. Just trying to think, that's part of it. I think leggings are pretty simple. Boots, you don't actually craft the boots. Uh, the way you think you do. Really, any piece of glass. I don't have glass. Do I? No, I don't. It's irritating. What if stone dust in here? Oh, when I died. That makes sense. Okay, sand. You're going into the electric furnace. Yes. Here you go. And right now I'm doing a test to see how much tin I will get from uh, just a stack and putting it through the refinery. So... That's why I have this going, so ignore that. Whatever, I'll just carry that on me. Uh, and then I need iron bars. And it's such a wasteful recipe. Be well, sort of. It's so wasteful because you do all this, and then you're done with iron bars for the rest of the game. Unless you want to craft iron bars on your own, but who wants to do that? Now, no, we do... I think we need wool. What do we need? Yes, we do need wool. That was close. Oh, what's that? Well, that would suck to lose those. Cool, and now we can handle uranium. See? You have uranium 238 in our inventory and 235, and we are completely safe. So, there's another thing we can create, and that is a Kind of like a lock chest for uranium. I forget what it looks like, but... Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Containment box. Ugh. Great. So, we need a chest. So, let me just craft a chest. Was that dense uranium? I mean, dense lead? No, it's just normal lead. So, we just need four. Cool. Not so bad. Cool, I'll just do that. Make it easy on myself, and there's my dog barking. Okay, all my iron plates or basic machines are created. Now, what do we need for the nuclear reactor? We need dense lead. That is actually annoying. Dense lead is irritating to make. Uh, we don't have tons of lead, so... It's even worse, now we have to refine the lead that we do have. I mean, don't even have a lot. Great. Wow, that is a lot of uranium. Wow. Uh, I did not expect that. I'm putting on the hazmat suit so I can just uh, empty it and we can put it in the containment box. Wow. Uh, did not expect that. But yes, we need to make enriched uranium fuel. Uh, Without it, it's, I mean, without creating enriched uranium fuel, it's quite useless. So now I have enriched uranium, uranium fuel, sorry, I have a hard time pronouncing some words. 
So, what can we do with enriched grain fuel? We can create the fuel rods that we need, and then we can deplete those fuel rods in the reactor, and, you know, obviously create uh, power as well as the RTG. So, that's gonna be amazing. But right now I have to... Wow, this is really nice. I really like this. Uh, is there any other uses for uranium? Blocks? Mox? We need plutonium. Yeah, I don't have plutonium. <laughs> uh, plutonium is something we don't have right now, so that's going to be a little while. Uh, I'll send the lead through that. I guess 38 and the 38. Yeah, it's more than enough. That's good. Uh, I get three. Nice. We have three right now. I just realized I have crushed lead ore somewhere. I have tons. Or not tons, but 32. That's, that's a good amount. Why am I not... Why have I yet to refine that? Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna send this to the electric furnace. Because... Lead... Is... Needed, but it's not super needed, so I might as well just use it up. So right now, I am depositing carrots into my... Mace Raider. Uh, it's in the hopper, because there's... There is some... Uh, cactus in there. But... We're getting lead, and I just... Pause like a few seconds, so yeah. Uh, we're getting lead, and I don't know how much we need again. I think we need 36 lead, so that's gonna kind of suck. Yeah, okay. Let me create the generator. Oh, oh, we need more than 36 lead, a lot more than 36 lead. Okay, uh, yeah, they, they each require four, and, uh, wow, that sucks. Okay, I can send that through. Oof, this is, this is, a. Uh, uh, I just realized, they're all lead plates, they're all getting sent through, what am I talking about? Uh, I need one more, give me one more, one more. Come on. Cool. Uh, well, I need a lot more. What am I talking about? But, uh, whoa, what's that? Is that lead sheet metal? Ah, uh, it's immersive engineering. I don't care about that. Cool. We have a reactor chamber. Now, I don't think I'm going to be using any reactor chambers because they're really expensive to just add on. Uh, not really expensive, but there's... We don't need that much. Uh, so, I'm not going to. Uh, what am I doing? I am going over here and getting more iron. Uh, really? You know what? Uh, maybe I have another hammer just so I can use that up. I do. Sweet. Because I just don't... I don't really want to... Uh, keep using the rolling machine because it does take a while uh and this is for the generator if you weren't sure what i was doing uh i need tin i have tons of tin in my inventory why am i like uh where's all the tin that i created a while ago yeah it doesn't exist uh yeah whatever let's do this uh yeah let's create a bunch of batteries <laughs> 